All righty. All right, all right, all right. Sunfish pocket. Okie dokie. That's the TV. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's co A quiz show? It disappeared. I don't know anything. Huh? I really don't know. Mame? Mizuki, the data we got from Tama might come in handy. It's from when Ryuki synced with Amame. Right, when we shared information at the cathedral earlier. I extracted the evidence data that looked promising and converted it to a more usable format. Project this outward and the structure of this Somnium world will waver and unveil hidden information. In other words, if we show Amame the intel we got from Tama, we'll get a reaction. Yes, but not just Amame. You can use the information to target many things in this Somnium. Okay. So you're saying I can target, like, objects? Correct. If anything looks fishy, I'll try it out. The details are under look. View the information there. Information in sound, right side secret, memory in wound, what Amame said in yesterday's sink, and did you see his murderer, Terra? Hmm. According to Tama's info, in the previous sink, there was a quiz battle. This is the first stage, the scavenger quiz. Amame likes music and voices. She collected many different kinds of sounds. She became highly skilled in gaining information from sounds. So that might mean that there's information in the sound of Mame Somnium. During this sync, we should focus on the sound. This is Mame's Somnium from yesterday. Ryuki and Tama competed in a quiz battle to get this information. The information is as follows. Amame was often troubled, but when in doubt, she always chose the right option. When in doubt or when needing to hide something, she chose the option on the right. Thusly, all the occult quiz answers were on the right side. So that wasn't just by chance. This may be a common rule in Amame's Somnium. This is information Ryuki and Tama acquired playing the Spot the Difference game in Amame's Somnium. Amame came across many wounded things, important things, the heart, blood. She carries all of that damage inside. All the correct answers were bloodied or otherwise damaged when playing the Spot the Difference game. Hmm, never noticed that. So we should look out for damaged things during the sink. Yes, let's keep that in mind. More information we got from Ryuki regarding Mame's sink. Nirvana, collected, genocide. Amame said these words. That has to be about the Nirvana initiative. Most likely. Mame must know something. This is the reason Ryuki decided to sink into Amame. According to the investigation, there was a high likelihood Amame saw terror when she found Komiji's body, but this has not yet been confirmed. That's all of it. Looks promising for the investigation. Yes. Let's use this wisely. Now, Aiba. Got it. Somnium scan, activate. Mental lock one. Mental lock two. Mental lock three. Mental lock four. Mental lock five. Mental lock six. Mental lock seven. Jesus Christ, how many? Mental lock eight. What the fuck? There's eight. There's eight. There's never been eight before. Nightmare irreconcilable. 
My mum knows info about the initiative, but for some reason she's hiding it. Use the intel you got from Ryuki to find out. Oh god. Eight mental locks. More than usual. That shows how strongly she is willing to hide her secret. Let's try talking to her first. Mamame has a secret which she covers with a lie. In this Somnium, inspecting objects will make evidence appear. You can check the obtained evidence with right trigger. When checking something, you can select show evidence to choose evidence from among the options. Okay. We are definitely going to be doing this Somnium twice, aren't we? It's Amame. Sup? Amame, can you tell me what you know about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. I don't know anything. The same answer. It seems suspicious. According to the info Tama gave us, she has to know something. Would you like to show her the evidence? It might cause a reaction. Let's show her some evidence. Okay. When her hidden truth is uncovered, the veil of lies crumble. Uh... It's Amame. Show evidence. How about what Amame said in yesterday's sink? Let's confirm the details. Information. Yeah. She has to be talking about the Nirvana Initiative. Yes. We should show her this. Here, on top of time spent for selections, every time you use show, time will be depleted. When you're correct with evidence, the current total time will be depleted. Look does not deplete time, so organize your information and choose wisely. Show. Amame, yesterday you said Nirvana collected genocide, though it was in a dream. You were talking about the Nirvana Initiative, correct? It was just an internet rumor. What site was it on? She's not saying anymore. I would like to keep questioning her, but I don't think we have anything that can draw more out of her. Let's check other locations. According to Tama... The characteristics we are looking for are... Something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Sound damaged right side only. Hmm. Uh. Well, that's not damaged. That's not anything, so I guess this? A Vogueman. A cassette tape player. It's the one Mame always has on her. Uh... Press play? Oh, this song. It was a gift from Gen. Mame. It has affected her emotionally, but she is still not responding. The evidence was related to sound. Why not try it on this? What? The Vokeman? Yes. It might trigger a change. Okay. A Vokeman. Mame's voice. The sound was distorted in the beginning. I was able to make out some words. Oh, it disappeared. We got the evidence. It should be fine. It's not information she got from the internet. Let's show Mame again. Okay. She learned it from. Amame, you heard about the Nirvana Initiative from someone. We have an idea of who that person was, but let's set that aside for now. In any case, you couldn't forget what you heard. In your dream yesterday, you said Nirvana collected genocide. Amame, answer me. What is the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. Between the warp and left. That's where the scene can occur. 
One out of eight. Oh boy. Stop! Uh. I don't know anything. What's this? This is Amame's defensive reaction. She really wants to hide something. However, it appears to be permeable. We are one step closer. We should continue to evaluate how she reacts to get the information we are looking for. Let's look around. Looks like a lot changed. We are looking for something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Okay. Related to sound, damaged, and right side only. It is in pieces, but I can determine that this is some kind of a cult magazine. This was not here before. Why is it in pieces? Piece together? Oh. A book on Nye's teachings. Mame? Do you have some kind of connection with Nice? I read about it online. That is not possible. This information is not available online. Is Amame lying? Yes. I wonder why the occult magazine turned into that book. Perhaps due to this Somnium. Everything is presenting a false appearance. Hiding its true identity. A false appearance? Hey Mizuki. Doesn't this book look like just the right side? Oh, can we use the evidence? Okay. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Nice teaching. Show evidence. This is the truth? That seems to be the case. That's the shattered glass statue, right? That Tokiko broke in her... In her office, she smashed it on the ground. That doll was the one in the Nye's president's office. Yeah. If Amame knows about it. Amame, did you go to the president's office? Well, Amame? I always talked about it with Iris, the secret society of Nye's. I was curious, so I went to seek them out. That means she could have heard about the Nirvana initiative from Tokiko. Maybe it was so insane to her that it scared her and she wanted to hide it. If that was the reason, she could have simply told us at this point. Yeah, true. There's another reason she can't tell us. Uh... This is suspicious. Who is it? Talk? Who are you? Simulation. Tell me your name. Simulation. Not gonna answer, huh? Perhaps this individual is a nice devotee. A times two? This is suspic- Who? I guess we times two the inspect. Is there anything that stands out that might give away who it is? Hmm. With them looking like this. This is a who? Is there anything we can show evidence to? I don't know. It's not making me think of anything. It's an elephant figure. Amame's personal belonging. Put on your head. Let's just pet it. Maybe that'll do now something. Now is not the time for that. Okay, or not. A TV. Nothing is on the screen. Turn on. Footage from Studio Devita. An empty studio is kind of creepy. I do not believe there is any valuable information here. Mm. 
a photo of a deep sea fish. Uh, take photo. I guess we may as well use the timings because we keep getting new it ones, seems right? It's okay to take, but we shouldn't. Oh, that was something. Okay. Uh, not sure what the fuck to do now. Then this it's got to be something to do with you. Uh, which would mean this person would be, uh, not that. Okay. A mame came into contact with you and subconsciously stored information related to you. The reason the doll appeared in the Somnium is because a mame went to your room, and the reason Nai's teachings were found here is because she met you, which would make you Tokiko Shigure. The code, the code to, the to the basement, basement is four nine zero one zero nine five. Should I write that down? I'm gonna write that down just in case I need it at some point. Uh, basement four nine zero one zero nine five. Just in case. Huh? It is Tokiko. We should ask her what relationship she had with Amame. Yeah, let's show her the evidence. For a certain time, she started having recurring dreams. The people, what happened, the patterns were all similar. Oh god, okay. Uh, is it the bottom three? By showing that and it, this, why did... Amame, have you seen a book of Nye's teachings? They only exist in Nye's facilities. And the broken glass doll. That was in the Nye's president's office. Tokiko's room. And you knew the access code that only Tokiko should know. What happened between you and Tokiko? Tell me everything Wait, about Wait, when it. did she know that code that only Tokiko should know? I don't remember ever using a code that only Tokiko should know. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. I can't run from it. I need to do it. Hey, Toki, go threaten her. I knew it. Amame was being threatened by Tokiko. Stop! I don't know! I don't know anything! Wait. Tokiko was murdered. W what are you trying to say? Amame would never do that! Tokiko had some kind of leverage over Amame. Some kind of secret. To keep her quiet. That would be motive. No. Oh, and one more thing. Date was explaining this at the Enda household earlier. Amame has motive to kill Terror as well. Well, yeah. Her father was killed by Terror. Andy's Komeji. You have about four minutes left. Oh, shit. We're a third through the time. Okay, what have we got now? This is exactly how he was found. So his body is inside the bag. Uh... Yonaharu Enda. 
she saw the mutilated body of her own father. It must have shaken her to the core. She was pretty off, I remember. Totally zoned out, like she wasn't even there. That's to be expected, though. It's not the kind of thing you just forget. Right. We got info from Tama regarding when the body was found. Let's show that evidence. Oh, shit. Is there something I can use? This is from six years ago. It's the sign that was stabbed into Jin Furroway's body. The QR code leads to the ViewCube video. It was linked to the QR video. 16. I guess 16 is about as good as we're going to get. It takes me to the QR video page. The sign that was stabbed. Read sign. Fray to free. Perhaps meaning a fight for freedom. Free could also perhaps be referring to moksha. Okay, cool. Oh, but that gave us a times two, you motherfucker. It is a jacket belonging to Andy's Kameji. Smell. Check pockets. Gotta do smell to get rid of the times you, two. I do not have a sense of smell. But you can detect smell, right? It smells like petroleum-based detergent. I assume it was taken to the cleaners. I'm guessing it's a smell she still remembers. Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful it now. It is a jacket below. Huh. There is something here. A receipt from a discount supermarket. Cream Everest Flan. Super Sweet Heartburn Cafe Au Lait. Blood Sugar Raising Super Chocolate Donut. Kameji Light Sweets. It's an elephant figure. A body bag. Uh... I don't fucking know, man. Oh, this one? Terror's Iron Mask. Six years ago, at the studio, I saw them. I was trying to untie Ryuki, and they came in, pushing a stretcher. They? So I ran. But they caught me. Next thing I knew, I had a gun pointed at me. Wasn't just Terra? As Ryuki suspected, Amame had contact with Terror, Uru. At that time, she probably did not realize that inside the body bag was Komeji's corpse. But when Ryuki regained consciousness, Amame saw it, and... She realized the man in the iron mask she saw was the person who killed him. Yes. Man, it feels like we've used most of our... Well, not most. We've, we've used like half our time. And we've only got two out of eight? Over half our time. Jesus. A wrench. Uh. God damn it. We've got times two again. It is a normal wrench. I wonder if it's Mame's. No, it is not. There is a faint handprint on the handle. The handprint is bigger than Mame's palm. It must belong to someone else. A wrench. There is nowhere to use this. Okay. Shoma's headphones. Put on. Show evidence. Huh. 
Huh. I can hear something. Since Shoma's gone, I'm gonna borrow this. I'm sorry. Talking about the robot? Yep. Shoma's robot. Mame took Shoma's robot with her? Yeah, keep up. We've already figured this bit out. I used it to go shoppy. That's it. Yeah, and carry a body. The center circle at the stadium. It is highly likely that it was that monowheel robot that carried Uru's body there. Right, but without using the slicer, it's impossible. Mame didn't know that the slicer was in the basement of Horidori Institute. I don't know about that. Yeah, we, she was there. She may well have known. Bruh, there's so little time left. Is Terra's mask something we need? The iron mask. It's broken in half. Down the middle. It is the left side. Or, depending on how you look at it, the right side of the wearer. Indeed, let's call it the right eye side. This is... the statue at Horadori Institute? Nothing looks off about it at first glance, but there's gotta be something. We should search this place. Yeah. Do we need to watch this slow fucking walking down the stairs again? I heard something. I think you're just hearing things. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She was there. It was a little past 12 a.m. on the 13th. This is the conversation that was held in the basement of Horadori Institute. So, what we were hearing was Mame? If she was not present, this conversation would not have played. Hmm. And Mame knew how to get to the basement. I suppose she was headed there on that day too, but she heard your voices and scrambled to hide. Why? That's where Tokiko's left half was, correct? Are you accusing me? We have this much proof. I think you have an idea of what Amame did. Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki. Yeah. Mizuki, you're an Abyss investigator. You need to face the truth. I know. I know. I'll do this right. Hello. Five? Okay. The hidden elevator leading from the access after showing the blue figure that that would mean the blue person. Uh, the fact you were threatened. I guess the code. Twenty-eight seconds. That is tons, man. You killed Uru to get revenge for your father. So she correct? actually did do it? But Tokiko saw you and blackmailed you. You killed her to keep her quiet. Then, you left Tokiko's right half in the president's office. And the left half remained in the basement of Horadori okay. Institute. I mean, we went in here, like, with them going, No, she did it. She definitely did it. She definitely did it. And us going, I don't know about that. Let's find out. And then the answer is, actually, yeah, she did. And they were right. Okay. <laughs> You're not so smart. So many mistakes. I need to carry it.
I'm very surprised that that is the answer. That after them, that after everyone else being like, oh, it seems really clear she did it. And we were the ones going, no, we're not sure we need to look into it. That the answer is, no, she did do it. That does seem weird. The question with no answer has no right or wrong. Even so, a mummy still dwells on what could have been. It's like the anti-twist. It's like, Mommy. no, it really was just the thing that seemed obvious. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mommy, what's wrong? We're wrong, right? You didn't kill anyone, did you? Please, tell me you didn't do it. Unless we're still wrong? Shut up. But she's laughing maniacally. I feel like... Shut up! Shut up! What would you have done? Can you honestly say you wouldn't do the same? Really? You always make the right decision? You don't know anything. Don't talk to me like you understand! I guess she might just be protecting Gen? This place is... Mommy? The Enda household. I'm sorry. We're getting a divorce. What are we going to do then? I hate to ask you to do this. But you need to choose which of us you'd like to stay with. You want me to choose like right now? I'm sorry. It's all your daddy's fault. I wasn't making money. I caused trouble for your mother. I'm really sorry. Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? What? Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? I suppose she's asking you to answer the question like she had to. I chose to go with mom. But if I chose dad... I'm going with you, dad. You need my help. So I need to look after you. Thank you, Amame. I'm so glad to hear that. If I chose my dad, I wonder how my future would have been different. Hmm. I'm going with Mom. Mom works really hard. She needs my help. That's true, isn't it? You need to take care of your mom. I love your comedy, Dad. I'm always on your side. Thank you. Daddy's gonna do his best. Just you watch. Okay. That's four. That's only halfway. Oh my god. We're so gonna run out she of time. Must feel guilt for her decision. You must have to do this one but perfectly she did or something. Wrong. I can understand that would bother her. What's next? You got a prize at a contest? <laughs> That's amazing, Shoma! It was always your dream to make a robot. Good job! Yeah, thank you. It'll be a good memory. This might be my last time. Last time? Why? I used so much money to make that robot. Dad wanted a new outfit for work, but he's been putting it off. I can't be asking for stuff for my robots. I see. If I work after school and on weekends, I can make like 100,000 yen a month, maybe. With that money, I can buy robot parts and a new outfit for Dad. You're here for the interview, right? You want to work the night shift? Yes. I want to make a lot of money. How old are you? If you're in high school, I can't make you work late. Huh? Be truthful and be poor. Or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Another question. Well, we know it's she chose. I lied in order to work. But if I didn't... I see. 
Okay. Oh, the other jobs were too low paying. But I have some free time, so I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that, but I think Dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. Oh, Amame. I didn't know you were here. Welcome home, Dad. If I saw my dad more, would I have noticed his problems? It's okay. I'm 20 years old. You look so young. Well, the more popular you are, the more you get paid, so good luck. Okay, thank you. Chose the lie. Okay, that was a quick one. Maybe it will be possible to get through all eight on the first try. She wanted to work, even if it meant lying about her age. Did I just skip something? No. No, she needed to work. She really cares about her family. Sorry to call you so late. It's fine. I just finished work. Are you okay? What? I was watching that one show on my phone. Faith to Face. It got... pretty crazy. Right. That. I'm okay. I... did see half a corpse, but... You sound... upset. Should I come see you? You want me to be with you, right? That's why you called. No, that's not it. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. You be careful too. It can be dangerous out there at night. I'm gonna go see Dad. I need to support him. Mommy, what should I do? I'm scared. Oh, Iris. You were there too, right? Yeah, I saw the dead body. So can we... can we meet right now? No. Please? I want you to be here. I'm... I'm... What would you do if your best friend and your family asked for help at the same time? And you could only choose one. I assume... Wait, which one? Was this, was this the night that she I went... Miss. Really sorry, but this was this was the night she went. Wait, no. Oh fuck. Was that a different night? I need to go see someone. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. Uh, okay, I'll be fine. I understand. I'm sorry to ask you for such a weird thing out of the blue. I can stay on the line though. I'll be listening. <laughs> Mommy. Thank you. If I went to see Dad, maybe he wouldn't have died. Wait, so did he go? Did she go to see him or not? Oh. Okay, I chose okay. wrongly. I thought okay, maybe that was the there. night where she went to see him and he brought the body, but no, that was later. Iris, where are you now? Thanks, Mommy. So that was an extra 16 seconds I wasted. Whoops. No! Chose the best friend. Amame regrets this, too. Mommy. The book. I don't want to read this. This world is only a simulation. You could have been saved by this truth, but oh well. I'm going to tell you what I told you in the basement again. 
I saw everything that you did. If you don't want me to reveal what I know, do as I say. What are you going to make me do? On the night of the 12th, I will use the slicer to take my own life. Huh. What? No. Tokiko killed herself? Afterward, I want you to take my right half to the president's office. Leave my body on the desk. Use the hidden elevator when coming here. I will explain how to use it later. I will tell you about the master key and access code. Why do I... That's not all. There is more I need you to do. You know what will happen if you decline, don't you? Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled? Or be part of some dangerous plan? She chose the plan. I had to obey. I had to do what she said. I understand. I can't run from it. I need to do it. perfect one. I was put through much hardship, but it's all a simulation after all. As long as I can reach Moksha, all will be well. The teachings of Nyes are absolute, as is the prophecy. Hey, can I ask one thing? Yes. Are you really terror? <laughs> yes, I am. What of it? Do you remember what happened on February 13th, six years ago? Of course. I will never forget. That was the fateful day I met you. You were a witness to history. You are worthy to know our ideals. Which is why I invited you here. Yeah, that was a mistake, mate. Enough about the past. Let's talk about the future. A ViewCube video will soon be made public. Nirvana X. Many people will watch it. Those who see it will collect in a predetermined location. Why? The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. At this important place. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. And the Nirvana Initiative will become reality. I know what he did. I saw what he did. He came to the studio with a corpse on a stretcher. <laughs> this is magnificent! Don't you think so? Why? 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 Why do you just laugh about it? The daughter of the man you killed is right here! Right in front of you! He killed my dad, all for some stupid teachings and prophecy. He ruined Shoma's life and mine. It's all his fault. All of it! Someone important was hurt in front of me. Make the person apologize, or get revenge. Take that fucking revenge, girl. You. It's all your fault. Got him! I'm going to make you suffer the same pain. Regardless of the motive, Amame committed a serious crime. 
that cannot be overlooked. I know, but this is just too much. If she never got involved, it wouldn't have happened. If only she chose her father over her mother. If only she saw him more. He might still be alive. If she never ran into him again. If she didn't follow him. She may not have killed Uru. If that didn't happen, Tokiko wouldn't have used her. But, there are no ifs in this world. You can agonize over it all you want. But you cannot go back and change your path. That is the truth of this existence. I chose this path! I had to choose this path! Of course I feel guilty! Of course I'm scared! But I did it! I did what was best for me! I don't care if people attack me for it! I have no regrets! I mean, it's understandable. <laughs> it is. Totally understandable. Cool. The End of Craving, Mizuki Chapter 5, M1 Man, Ryuki, you suck at your job! You went in a somnium and didn't find any of this shit out. I think I understand. <laughs> Uro Somazuki. Terror was killed by you, Mame. And Tokiko wasn't killed. She set herself up on the slicer and took her own life. But I'm still not clear on some things. Will you talk to us? All right. Well, she will talk to us about some things, but she will do that in the next part. Oof, that was a long Somnium. But luckily, first tribal. Uh, what did you think deep learning was? <laughs> Special skill, sure. Any levels? Class up to A1! Very nice, very nice. Save. Bonus. Anything to buy? Yes, we have some new outfits. We have the Q head, the robot arm, and that's it. Hurry and check it out. Come on, good choice. Nice, that is the lowest amount of eyeballs we've ever had. Okay, well. We did not finish the game, but again, we are ever closer. We know pretty much the how and why of it all. It's just the actual Nirvana initiative itself that remains to be stopped, as far as I can tell. So maybe next session, a couple more parts? I don't know. We're definitely close. We, I said this last time, but we are even closer now. We know how everyone died. And yeah, we will see how things wrap up in the near future. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Thanks for watching. See you then.